All right, so my name is Jeffrey Hutchings. I've been at Dell for over 17 uh, years, and for the last four years, I've been working uh, with small businesses. Most of my career, I spent in uh, consumer or home and small office. And then about four years ago, as SB started to become bigger and bigger in, in our area and throughout the country, um, and focus, um, clicker, uh, we started concentrating more and more on small businesses. And I ran chat, where our chat agents actually talked to small business throughout the whole entire country about what they were looking for every single day, what problems they were having. And after that, I moved over to merchandising. So my team specifically looks at all the products that Dell offers and all the needs that small businesses have and get them in front of uh, the customers in various different ways, whether it be a catalog, a direct mailer, um, emails to their personal or, or business account, and for the first time um, in a long time, direct national um, advertising through TV. So I have a passion for small business. I've talked to a lot of small businesses, but I am not... Uh, a small business owner myself. Um, so I've, I've been uh, um, in contact with a lot and I understand a lot of the issues that small businesses have. Um, and I can tell you this, uh, in our division, we talk to customers uh, from zero to 100 employees. So that's a big range bet between needs of what small businesses need. And what I wanna do in the next 15 minutes is tell you you're not alone. And I'm gonna show you a few, a few statistics and then tell you, uh, give you some advice on what you can do uh, if you're struggling in your IT needs and how you're going to scale as your small business becomes bigger, as you grow from one, one to five to ten, and potentially someday up into medium or large business, uh, and give you a, a, a couple of hints from customers that we've talked to and some pain points they've had along the way. So first, let's start with a, a couple of, of um, statistics that I think you might have seen or heard, um, but 16% of small business owners right now are mill millennials. Um, and by 2025, that's going to grow to 75%. Uh, and in entrepreneurial studies is now the third biggest um, studied in, in undergrad right now. That's huge. It's grown. So entrepreneurs and small businesses is growing. It's not only growing um, here in Texas, but it's growing across the entire country. Uh, what this means is more millennial small business owners are, are there and they're coming. And what it also means... 69% of millennial IT decision makers uh, believe the organization has apps or services that should be in the cloud that are not today. It, uh, compare that to the baby, baby boomer, boomers were interviewed and, and surveyed at 53%. Now, 97% of the millennial IT uh, decision makers say connecting to a public cloud seamlessly will be important in the next five years. Um, so a lot of data that says who is, who is opening small businesses and what are they thinking about in the next five years and beyond. And what does that mean? That means that they're going to have a lot of information for, for customers and small businesses on enterprise technology, which includes servers, storage, cloud, etc. cetera. Um, but what does that mean to you? Most small businesses that I talk to, they're thinking about how they're going to stay in business now how they're going to grow their business, how they're going to take care of their customers, and how they're going to merchandise to new customers. And the last thing they're thinking about is technology. Because technology is what enables them to touch their customers, but they're, 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 they're focused um, on the right thing. Um, and the last too many times I've seen, the last thing they think about is, wow, I'm starting to grow, and I don't have all the technology I need in place. And I would say Dell is not unique uh, in having uh, IT sales representatives that can help you, uh, but I'm biased, of course. I've been there for, for uh, almost two decades, and, and I, I believe that we have some of the best uh, products available exclusively for small business. But I want to tell you, um, you're not alone. So I mentioned earlier that we have IT sales representatives that um, are based here in Round Rock, Texas, right north, 20 miles north of here and in Nashville, Tennessee. What you would do is call these representatives at 877 by dell and when you talk to them, they don't sit there and listen to you tell them everything about the business. They ask questions about things you're not uh, thinking about. Wh why are you starting this small business? Do you see, where do you see this business in five years? What is your current uh, infrastructure, if any, right now? How much of your business is in the cloud? Are you looking for financing? Etc. Um, and all this, this service is, is not a secret, uh, but still so many people don't know that, it, that it's available. Um, you probably 
um, know a little bit more about computers than they did in the late 90s when I started at Dell. Most people didn't know what a hard drive was. Uh, now everybody does. Um, most people didn't know what size monitor they want. Now everybody does. Um, now they have to make harder decisions, but they know a little bit more. So I wanted to show you some of the questions that get asked on a daily basis from the hundreds of customers that call us every day. Um, what is a server and how will it help, help my business? What does a server cost? What is UPS? Uh, should I virtualize? What is a virtual machine? Can I only give my employees access to things they need on the server and not, on every, uh, not to everything else? Um, do you have financing available for me? Can I lease a product? Um, it goes on and on. And actually, if you listen to the phone calls um, like I do, uh, it's really never the same exact issue. Every, every small business is unique. But what they're not unique in is everyone has aspirations of taking care of customers, making a name for their small business, and potentially growing that small, a small business. And that's where uh, these IT uh, sales representatives are, are really specialized in, is thinking about what you're not thinking about. Um, does anybody else uh, can read these questions? How many of you have had the same questions? Right? So they're, they're not, they're not uh, uncommon. They, they are questions that everybody has. Um, unfortunately, sometimes they think about them a little bit too late. And what I mean by that is they've bought a, a few different um, laptops or desktops and with no switch, no network. They're thinking about hybrid cloud because they have, have uh, uh, HIPAA compliance to deal with now, et cetera, and they're playing catch up. Um, that's what I would say. If you remembered uh, a few things from, from me talking to you, one would be you're not alone. There are people out there that will help you. Um, uh, purchase the right solution for your business uh, for free um, at Dell and other places. Um, and and uh, secondly, you need to make sure uh, when you're doing this that you're not thinking about just next week or next month, but potentially next year, two years from now. I'll give you an example uh, of a customer that we had recently. So this was a dentist that we had. Uh, our sales representatives talked to the dentist about what they needed right now, but also got, got them talking about where they saw themselves in a few years. Um, they set them up. So we set them up with a server, a few uh, net, uh, desktops, some RAID technology to mirror the, the drives, five Optiplex desktops, uh, three Latitude servers, firewall for HIPAA compliance, a switch, and, and a uh, ba UPS battery backup. Had all of that set up from, from the beginning, and then he did grow. Over time, they grew, just like he thought he might and was, was very happy to do that. Because he had the infrastructure set up from the get-go, all he had to do was add a few more notebooks to the, um, to the switch, add a few more des desktops to the server, and they were ready to go. And that's a small example, but I'll give you another one that I don't have a slide for. I told you I wasn't a small business uh, owner, but my dad was. Uh, my father owned a, a medical transcription business uh, for most of my um, high school years and, and into college. And as you can imagine, there's a medical transcription business in the late 90s. They had to go pick up the, the, the uh, dictation from the, the, the doctors, bring it back, um, do the dictation, take it back to the customers. And the, the technology of that evolved so quickly. As you can imagine, voice to text became popular. Then they had to worry about sending the files through email when that came very popular. Well, there's a lot of regulations that come from that. They had very specialized software that every time an operating system switched, they had to think about what they were going to do. Did they had to outfit a whole other 20 computers with a new operating system? Uh, fortunately, he had a son that worked at Dell, and that was me, uh, who hooked him up with a sales representative who could talk to them, him about the, the technology that was not only available today, but what, where it was going in the future. And he was able to make the decisions at the right time uh, that enabled him to seamlessly integrate into the new technology and, and further his business for growth. Uh, and it worked. Um, a lot of success, and, and uh, he eventually sold that company and started, started another one. So it was a very, uh, very good time. Um, this is just one or two examples of thinking ahead. Uh, but what, again, what I wanted to tell you 
uh, over and over again is you don't have to do it alone. If you don't remember or do not know what cloud is or hyper cloud or virtualization, uh, it's okay. There are people that can help you. Um, in fact, I'm gonna help you right now. I'm not gonna do a deep dive, but I will tell you, most of you use cloud every day. So cloud enables you to share Dropbox as an example, a lot of the apps that are on your, on your phone. Hybrid cloud is, it can get expensive using cloud. You start having more and more data in the cloud that costs more and more money. Maybe you have more secure data and you're worried about security for, for HIPAA compliance. That's where a hyper, hybrid cloud, where you have some here in your office and some um, in the cloud. And then virtualization uh, is, a, is a whole different animal, um, which it, a lot, and it really enables the cloud. It's, a lot of things can access uh, one piece of hardware through software. Um, but it, it, whether or not it works for your specific situation is the question. That's the question everybody has when they get to that point. And that's when you can contact us or, uh, or many others to help you walk through that step. So before I show you something, I wanted to say, uh, personally, I've been in small business, I said, for four years, and specifically just small businesses for the last uh, two and a half years. Um, I'm so happy that this festival uh, is here uh, in Austin, but also is being streamed across the country. Um, the focus on helping small businesses is personal to me, um, but also I know that this is great for the people that are attending, and I, I really ad admire small businesses and, and admire even more people that support small businesses to make sure that they get what they need. Uh, because everybody needs a helping hand when they're starting off and as they're growing. So I want to thank everybody that put this together and, and, uh, and uh, I have great admiration for everybody that's in small business starting their own or supporting them. So what I'm going to show you guys to close, um, we have a national TV uh, ad coming out. Uh, this is a sneak peek. hasn't come out. You should see it in the next couple of days um, or, or if you watch many of the TV channels that it will be on. Um, and it, what it, uh, it does, I'm about to show it to you, um, it shows you a little bit about what I talked about with the sales agents that can help you uh, find the right solutions, but also it t shows you a little bit about the commitment that Dell and others are making specifically for small businesses. Uh, not consumer, not lar large organizations, but how can we help small businesses that need more help than most. So thank you guys so much. I'm going to play this, and thanks, thanks for having me about my small business. So when it comes to technology, I need someone that understands my unique needs. My Dell small business advisor has gotten to know our business so well that it feels like he's a part of our team. With one phone call, he sets me up with tailored products and services. And when my advisor is focused on my tech, I can focus on my small business.